Jenkins girlies are onto something. This looks so good. Oh my god. I like this very much. Today we're gonna do another part of a series where I test out a bunch of really viral, popular things from TikTok and let you know if I think they're good or not. So these can vary from things like recipes, hacks, products, random stuff that I've seen go viral that like I've been very curious about and I wanna test out. So we're gonna test it out together. So I've compiled a list of a few different things that we're gonna go over and test out today and just kind of go about my day and see if these things are worth the hype or worth the virality or whatever. We have a little bit of fashion, we have a little bit of food, we have some stuff in between so let's go ahead and jump in and start testing out these viral TikTok things and we'll see if they're good or not let's do it the first thing we are gonna try out is a recurring theme on this channel that you guys seem to really enjoy and so I keep bringing it on back and that is Halara and they are like a very viral TikTok brand I was a little skeptical about them at first I had gotten requests for so long to test them out and I tested out their exercise dresses and then I also tested out their leggings recently for today's video I'm gonna be testing out some different bodies so like more kind of like pants, trousers, things along those lines that would fall into the category of like more everyday wear instead of athletic wear because you know it's like a pretty good variety. This portion of the video is sponsored by Halara so I wanted to say a big thanks to them. They have made it very clear that I am allowed to give like my full honest feedback and opinion and encourage you to do the same as well so make sure you leave that down in the comments below but yeah we have I think four or five different bottoms to try on. They're also offering you a coupon code so if you use the code Dayton20 at checkout you can get 20% off your full price items so make sure you check the links in the description box below all of these will be linked down there but yeah we have a lot of pants to try on so let's start there and put these on and see what they're like all right so first up we have this pair I just put these on for the first time ever in my life and I am genuinely not just saying this I love them I love them so much. These are called the high-waisted plicated side pocket wide leg waffle casual plus size pants. That is a mouthful. I got mine in the color black. These come from a size extra small to a 3X, which is a 22 to 24W. In the plus sizes, they come in two colors. And in the straight sizes, they come in like 12 colors. They also have regular petite and tall in the straight sizes. And that's one thing I will say is like a critique or something that I would just offer as some room for improvement is just increasing the amount of items Items on the website that are available in plus sizes and then also increasing the amount of colors and different options for the actual plus sizes but these are like a almost to me like a trouser like a actual tailored wide leg trouser but it doesn't have a button or a zipper they're just like pull on and they're stretchy they're so comfortable it does have this like very micro waffly kind of texture that I personally love like I'm obsessed with the texture of these. I would say there's like a bit of stretch and like it has the pleating in the front here. They're really comfortable. I got these in a size 1X and for reference, I got all of these bottoms in a 1X. They're nice and high waisted too. Like they're actually a true high waist. I am a very harsh critic for that. They're like a nice stretchy, like really, really stretchy waist, which I love. So if you were similarly sized to me, I would definitely recommend going with a 1X. Also refer to the size chart and the reviews are really helpful as well and I love this like honestly these are so so cute two thumbs up from me two thumbs up I am so obsessed with this pair of pants. I have just found my new favorite fall and winter pants. Like this is exactly what I've been looking for. I'm so excited. These pants are called the Mid-Rise Button Zipper Side Pocket Plus Size Corduroy Casual Pants. They come in sizes extra small to 4X. They have 12 different colors for the plus sizes and for the straight sizes, they also have 12 different colors. They're originally $39.95. They're on sale right now for $29.95. I think that's a really good deal for like a good pair of corduroy pants. I would say there is like a very slight stretch to the actual corduroy material itself. I would say it's a true like middle of the road weight to the material. I would honestly argue that these are high rise, at least on me. The size 1X fits amazing on me. There is some stretch to the waistband, which I appreciate more than anyone will ever know. I feel like they're a good length for me as well. I usually wear like a regular or sometimes a tall depending, but I think they look great like this. They do have good pockets. They again have like pleats in the Front. These are like a true pant, but I just slipped these on even though they have a button and a fly I just slipped these on like they were pajama pants So I couldn't be happier about that. Here is what they look like in the back They have just a nice cute like pocketless back and I think these are gonna be what I'm wearing for the rest of the day Like they're so comfortable. I have been trying so relentlessly to find a good pair of brown corduroy pants for fall I've tried to thrift them I've tried looking all over the place and I think these are the ones I honestly love them
love them so much. Okay, next up we have sort of like another flare type of pant and these are so comfy. I just put them on and I was like, oh my God, I don't wanna take these off. These are called the high-waisted button multiple pocket straight leg casual plus size pants. They come from sizes extra small to 3X. They come in 12 different colors in plus sizes and 16 colors in straight sizes. I got them in a 1X. I like that there is like this kind of button detail up the front and there are like pockets in the front here as well as pockets on the back. I will say that these are like a step up from a legging. They have like a very athletic kind of legging material. So if you want like a flare legging that feels like a little bit more put together but has the comfort of a legging, like honestly go for these. They're so comfy. If you are looking for a true like pant trouser, these are probably not it for you. But if you're looking for like a comfortable slip on and go flare legging with some pockets added onto them for cuteness and some buttons, then go for it. These are great. These are like a nice thick material as well. So if you're concerned with like if they're see-through or if you can see panty lines, I mean, I don't see anything at all. And I'm looking in the mirror as well. These are really, really cute. I love these. Okay, you know what? I actually think I'm pleasantly surprised by these. So this is a pair of jeggings. I had to throw these in there because in my last video, when I tested out a bunch of different like bottoms from Halara, mostly leggings, I was like, let me try on a pair of jeggings because their jeggings are like very popular. A few of you commented that I had to try the flare version. So here they are. And I was a little skeptical. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not much of a jeggings kind of girl, but now that I have them on, like I think I kind of get it. Like for what they are, if you were looking for like an actual jegging, which is a pair of jeans that feel like leggings, these are great. I'm getting ahead of myself, but these are called the Halara Magic High-Waisted Crossover Pocket Wash Stretchy Knit Casual Plus Size Super Flare Jeans. Wow, that is a long name. They're originally $64.95. They're on sale currently for $39.95. They come from sizes extra small to 4X. They have two colors in the plus sizes and five colors in the straight sizes. I do try to keep an open mind because obviously like when I'm showing things like this for review purposes, it's not just for me, it's for other people as well. And like people out there genuinely love jeggings. And so I was like, okay, let's like try to open my mind a little bit and think outside of what I would usually wear. And I honestly don't think these are bad at all. Like they look really cute. My butt looks cute in them. Here is what the front of them looks like. So for me anyway, I would definitely wear something oversized to kind of cover this up. But if you like the look of that and you wanted to wear like a crop top, I think that's great as well. They're nice and like supportive, but they're also not like super duper tight. Like they are genuinely comfortable like a legging. Like it feels like I just have a pair of flare leggings on right now with like a little bit more texture to it. There is a lot of stretch this material as well. And there are pockets, which I think is very impressive. Pockets in the back as well. I like the length of them. I honestly like this wash. Like I'm definitely gonna hang on to these. I, I really actually am pleasantly surprised by this. I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about it, but they're honestly great. I think the jegging girlies are onto something. So yeah, as I mentioned before, all the links for all of these items will be down in the description box below. We have a lot more to cover in this video, so let's keep it moving. Next up, we have a recipe. Now I have seen this like all over TikTok and I've actually had this saved for probably like a month or two now. And I've been so curious about this because it's like a caramel apple bark and you do like pretzels and chocolate and peanut butter and apples and like all this really delicious stuff. And then you put it together and it sounds kind of amazing. And I haven't really done like a true TikTok recipe before on my channel. I've tested out like different food products. Like I tested out the water talk recipes, you know, the sugar-free waters that everyone got very mad at me that I didn't like and like different kitchen gadgets and things, but I've never tried like an actual recipe. So we're gonna test it out together. I got all the stuff. I see all these viral TikTok recipes and I'm like, are they actually good? Or is it just kind of like for the aesthetics or cause people like that it's popular or whatever. Um, so we're gonna test it out together. So let's see how it goes. All right, we're in the kitchen. I have my corduroy pants on because they're that comfortable. Like I actually wanna keep wearing them for the rest of this video. So we have all of the ingredients we need for these caramel apple bark bars in front of me. We need semi-sweet chocolate chips. We need coconut oil. We need pretzels, like mini pretzels, I guess. We need an apple. And then for the caramel that goes over the top, you need peanut butter, but I'm using almond butter. Like use whatever you have, a natural one. You need maple syrup as well as coconut oil. You'll mix all those together. You also need parchment paper and a little cookie sheet. So what we're gonna do is, here, I'll move you down so you can see me. Okay, first things first, we need to make our little caramel sauce. So we need a saucepan. I'm just gonna use this small one here. So we're gonna do a third cup of this. We're gonna need three tablespoons of maple syrup. 
And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of this coconut oil. Make sure that you, I mean, unless you like the coconut flavor, but make sure you get the refined coconut oil because that's the one that doesn't taste like coconut. The unrefined one definitely tastes like it. Bon appetit. So now we're gonna put this <laughs> concoction on the burner on medium heat and then just whisk it to incorporate everything. And it kind of makes like a caramely type of sauce. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna see how well we can multitask because while that is going, we're gonna melt our chocolate. So you take a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and then you mix them with coconut oil and you put them in the microwave for like 20 second increments until it's all melted. Okay, and they go. This smells incredible, by the way. Wow. Okay, then we're gonna take our teaspoon coconut oil, add that in here, and then we're gonna pop it in the microwave for like, I'll probably do 30 seconds to start, and then maybe 20 after that. Okay, and while that's going in the microwave, we're gonna line our baking sheet, cookie sheet, whatever you have, honestly, with some parchment paper, just so it doesn't stick. Okay, that's set, let's stir the chocolate chips. We're gonna stir them up. Put them back in for a little bit longer. The coconut oil helps them not like seize as easily. So fingers crossed, cause that's very easy to do in the microwave, but I think this is just supposed to be like a quick, easy recipe. Let's try that again. Okay, we've got our nice melted chocolate. So the next thing you do is pour three quarters of the chocolate on the actual tray here. So you make sort of like a chocolate I don't know, rectangle type of thing. This is so satisfying. So now we're just gonna like, kind of make it like this. Then we're gonna take our pretzels and make like a line across. Basically just take all your pretzels and you place them, oops. <laughs> you place them on the chocolate and you make like a row of the pretzels. Okay, now that the pretzels are on the chocolate, we're gonna chop up our apple into like little, we're gonna like dice it basically. Okay, let's sprinkle these apples. Oh, these are cute. Sprinkle them on over everything. I don't know if I've ever combined apples with chocolate before, so this will be interesting to see what it turns out like. Yeah, I definitely only needed half of this apple. Okay, and next it says to drizzle our like caramel sauce over the top, or peanut butter or almond butter caramel sauce on the top. However, I don't trust that pan, so I'm gonna get like a Pyrex. Here we have our sauce. We'll just dump it in here. Do a little transfer. I feel like this will be much easier to pour. So here we go. <gasps> this is so pretty. <laughs> what the heck? I'm obsessed with this. I don't feel like we're gonna need all of it. I feel like that's a pretty good amount. Okay. Then last but not least, you drizzle the last of your chocolate over the top. So you just kind of mix the chocolate and the almond butter caramel together. And that's it. This looks so good. I'm a chocolate girly, so I'm putting all of the chocolate on here. Wow. Wowie wowie. Okay, I don't wanna move it too much, but here is what we're working with. We're gonna put this in the freezer for 30 minutes, like it said, and then we're gonna break it up and enjoy it. Let's see what happens in 30 minutes. <laughs> Right, it's been 30 minutes, just had some lunch, and now we are going to chop up our bark into cute little pieces and then see how it is. Ooh, it looks good. I'm gonna put this knife away. That's probably for the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what it is looking like. It honestly looks so good. Okay, Drew's also here, he's off camera because he heard I was making something and he came running. I wanna make sure I get a bite that has everything. You wanna try one? I want a little one. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. I love this so much more than I thought I would. It has everything. It has like the creaminess from like the almond butter and the chocolate. It has sweetness. It has like acidity from the apple. Then there's also a crunch from the pretzel. 
Oh. Oh yeah, 10 out of freaking 10 for me. It's good, it's really good. It's so good. I actually good. like that it's frozen. Mm hmm This was so easy to make. This is exactly what I was hoping it would taste like. Worth it, worth the hype. Worth everything. Next up, we're gonna test out a product and I have seen this everywhere and this is like a sort of like personal ring light or personal lighting situation. I ordered this probably like two or three months ago and I've never used it. I kind of forgot about it and I was like, wait, since I've never used it, let's test it out for this video because I'm seeing it everywhere on TikTok and Instagram. And this is like a just little clip on light that you put on your iPhone or your camera that provides like a really bright light so that you don't have to worry about the lighting that you're in. It just kind of gives you good light all the time. And I don't know, I'm weird about artificial lighting sometimes. I really do prefer natural light. So that's all good and fun. But where I live literally is like the darkest apartment ever. <laughs> I have to supplement with lighting a lot. So that could be really helpful for me if like I'm vlogging or if I'm filming something for Instagram to be able to just like clip something on my phone and hold it out and look at it would be kind of iconic. It's got a bunch of different little gadgets and things that come with it. So let's find out what it's like together. All right, so for the light, it comes with like the actual light itself. It comes with some little like filters almost that are all different colors. So we have red, green, blue, purple, pink that you can add into this like, and I think it's this part. This is where you like insert the filter in here and then you put it over the light like that. And it comes with a little USB to USB-C charger. So you can like pop it in your little, you know, cube that you have and then you just charge it on the side, which is nice. It's rechargeable. And then it also comes with these two little pieces, one for, which I just realized, one of them is for a camera, like an actual camera, and then one is for your phone. We'll start with the phone one. It just has like a little clip. You screw it into like the bottom or the side, so you can do it vertically or horizontally. There's even like little levers so you can change the angle that you want it. They literally thought of everything for this. Okay, so I'm gonna put it over here. So here is what it looks like with no light on. This is literally just like natural light, which it isn't a very bright time of the day in this part of the house. Okay, now I will turn on this light. Oh my God. You can dim it if you want. You can do it like dimmer or brighter, or you can add warmth into it. There's like a little thing on the side, kind of like a little dial, and then you can turn up the warmth if you want or you can turn it down to like cool or blue light. That's incredible. This little thing is everything and it's like very affordable considering. And I have really bad lighting in this apartment. I think I mentioned that, like it's just not ideal. So the fact that this exists is iconic. Okay, now we're gonna try it on my camera. So we'll switch it out to this little thing which goes at the top of your camera. Now I will say I'm using this as an example because this is like my vlog camera or my B-roll camera where I get kind of most of my like side footage for my main channel or where I vlog. So this one particularly has like a flip up screen because it's easier for vlogging instead of the one that, you know, the viewfinder usually comes out on the side. So this may not be like the best example because I won't be able to see what I'm doing as I'm doing it, but also I'm filming you on this camera so I can't right now. Anyway, so now we're gonna test it on my actual camera. So, okay, here it is. This is what it normally looks like at this time of day. Again, all natural lighting except for like my light that's on above me. And now we're gonna turn this on. You'll have to let me know what you think. Like, is this an improvement in the lighting? What do you think? Like, I honestly think it looks really good. I feel like this will be really helpful if I'm vlogging at night. You can just like throw it in your bag if you want to. It's like really compact. I don't really get that much like content out and about, especially with like a light. I'm always trying to draw attention away from myself instead of bringing it to myself, but I don't know. Okay, let's try it with one of these little color filters. I'm gonna try maybe like pink. So this is probably one of like the darkest areas of my house right now. Even though the camera does make up for some of the lighting, we're gonna turn on the light to see what difference it makes. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. From what little bit I can see right here, it looks so good. Now let's do like just the normal light. Okay, now I truly am in the darkest place in my house, which is the bathroom. Okay, here we go. Wait, it's so bright that my camera doesn't know what to do. Okay, there we go. Honestly, that is so impressive. It's pitch black in here pretty much. This is the only light we get, but it's blocked by other buildings in this particular room. And so like, 
I am so impressed. I would give this a freaking 15 out of 10. Like I will be using this so much from now on. I love it. Last but not least, this is um, definitely something that I was fully like a victim to uh, targeted ads and maybe just targeted TikToks in general, the algorithm, if you will. But this is a cleaning product and I would describe it as like a spinning shower cleaning brush or something like that. I hate cleaning showers more than anything in the entire world. It actually makes me physically ill. I hate drains, I hate sinks, I hate anything that's related to that. So if there's something that I can just like hold out from afar and it cleans my shower or whatever it is that I'm cleaning for me, that would be really incredible. I bought this myself. Uh, again, it's just something that I was curious about as a consumer, but I haven't used it yet. So I thought that we could try it out together. It comes with all these different like heads and attachments and it extends and does all this crazy stuff. So I figured, you know, we'll clean my shower together. This is something that I personally need to do just because my shower is like made of entirely tile and it's like really tall and we'll get into it. But um, also we can test out the product together. So let's see if this is worth the hype. I have honestly no idea, but we're gonna find out. Okay, so here we have the brush. It honestly, like, listen to this. It's got power, okay? And then also, I had to like play around with it a little bit when I put it together. You have this little like lever here or this little like tab and you just push it and then it extends even further. There's also a button here where you can change the angle of the brush. So if like you're getting into a corner or something like that, this thing is crazy. It also comes with a few different brush heads. So it has this sort of like flat round one. It has a pointed one for corners. It has another pointed one that isn't like as severe, but like definitely, you know, for probably corners, drains, whatever. And then it also has this big, almost like dish brush kind of thing. So looks crazy and I have no idea where to begin, especially because our shower is tiled from floor to ceiling and then like all across the ceiling as well. The shower is, it's not looking Good. I'll show you little bits of what my shower looks like. I'm not proud of this, okay? But I hate cleaning this thing. It grosses me out so much. So I tried to just wet it just now a little bit. I have this little thing on the bathtub and I tried to kind of like, mm, but honestly it didn't reach very far. So we're just gonna do our best. We're gonna spray some bathroom cleaner with bleach on it. And then we're gonna, you know, scrub away and hope for the best. I don't, if you have any tips for me, let me know, but this is what I'm gonna do. We'll start with the bottom. Let's see how that goes. Oh, oh, she's got power. Oh my God. You really gotta, you gotta have some core strength to control this thing. Wow, she's got a mind of her own. Can you see how well that's getting rid of stuff? Oh my God. You really do have to be careful. This thing has a mind of its own. It will run away. Oh my God. Wow, this is so satisfying. Oh my God. I'm a little scared, I'm a little scared. I'm losing control. So this thing is gonna be clean and I'm doing hardly any of the work apart from just keeping this thing from literally flying away. I like this a lot. I like this very much. I'm gonna use the little corner one and see if that helps. To switch it out, you literally just Stick the new one on there. This does not need to be so long, first of all. <laughs> Let's try this. I need to get a close up of this. This is crazy. Look at how well this gets into that corner. That literally gets into every nook and cranny. I mean, I might need to work on it a little bit more, but that brush getting into that corner like that is crazy. All right, we're going in. Here we go. Oh my gosh really hard to do with one hand. It is doing something. You can hear it scrubbing. Try it on the wall here. Oh. Wow. I'm sold. I'm sold. Okay, so here is the aftermath. It's definitely looking much better. There are certain things that just like that little corner right here, that will not come out. It's just like on there forever. <laughs> but it really does look a lot better. And like you saw how much it was scrubbing. 
So I actually think I love it. I'm very impressed. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. If you have any requests for future videos like this or you wanna see me do some different iteration of it, definitely let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you all of my love and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.